This is what he do to a female. This is what a bitch ass nigga do to a fucking female. YouTube. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Got uh got my stuff that I'm working on right quick, getting my paperwork together for the trips that I had before. And uh trying to scan them in. My load don't deliver until Monday morning, nine o'clock. I'm here at Canterbury. Canterbury Park. Usually park here because you know the truck parking and of course the casino. Uh but I'm not on here to talk about the casino. Alright. My guy Deacon uh from Truck Talk and Chill, uh Sovereign Roads. He uh he sent me a video. And uh he sent me a video in my in my messenger. He was like, yo, lockout man, why don't you go ahead and check out that video? Out here in the middle of nowhere. He said, go ahead and check out that video right quick of a female getting kicked out of the truck. It was like a female getting kicked out of the truck, man. What what's what's going on? Uh so I just got finished watching it. Very, very hurtful. Now, I'm not going to speculate because I, I don't know. There's always two sides of the story. I, I'll let you guys formulate your own opinion because I'm going to I want to share the video with you. But what I want to say is, is that I was always talking about trust safety. You know, trust safety for guys, trust safety for women. And uh, you, you always got to watch. You always got to watch out for, you know, yourself and what's going on. Now, I don't know what happened before she started the video. You see what I'm saying? That's why I said it's always two sides to a story. You know, we, we see it from her point of view of what happened. And what happened is, from what I got, she got kicked out of the truck for whatever reason. She said that she was beat up and she was put out of the truck in Missouri. Now, she wasn't put out of the truck in a safe place like a truck stop or a safe haven. She was put out of the truck in a rest area. Now, Rest areas is not that safe. I mean, I, I've spent my time in a few rest areas. I've spent my time in a few shady rest areas too, but but getting put out at a rest area, it's not a good idea, you know. Huh. You're going south for the winter. I know y'all heard that, right? <laughs> anyway, uh if for whatever reason you get put out of a truck, you know, either you're with a team driver or you're with a trainer or something like that. And for some odd reason that the situation becomes unbearable, then request to be put at a truck stop. And then you'll be able to call the company that you work for or something like that. And they'll be able to send uh, a taxi or or get you back to a terminal or get you home, you know, so that uh, so that you can get home safe. Now, I'm not sure whether or not if they was team drivers, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband and wife. I mean, Deacon did say something about them being husband and wife. But I'm I'm kind of thinking, like, if that was a husband and wife, why would the husband do something like that leave his wife in the middle of nowhere unsecure that's crazy same thing with a boyfriend girlfriend type of situation i mean you know i knew this one guy this one truck driver he 
he uh i guess he him and his girl got tired of each other and she wanted to go home so he took her to the airport and got her to get home but i mean you know this you know this teen driving thing boyfriend girlfriend husband wife does get stenuous in the truck i mean look it's look how tight this is and y'all in the truck every day every day every day it's not like it's not like coming home to your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever it's not like that but um i'm not gonna say much i'm just gonna go ahead and play the video um you guys tell me in the comments what you think uh you know like i said i'm not gonna speculate too much it's a hurtful video you know to see from her point of view of getting cut kicked out the truck i mean me personally i mean if i was to put somebody out of the truck i would at least take them to a truck stop where they at least be safe um at least they'll get you know get home or something like that or if the terminal is close, I'll be able to drop them off at the terminal. Unbearable to the extreme is if you put them out of the truck at a at a rest area. So, guys, check out the video. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments. Uh, share the video. Um, this so is a yeah, safety I just want, issue. This uh, is what I'm talking live. about. This, this so is, everybody this can is witness safety. This is what I'm talking about. I'm being about. put out of the motherfucking Guys, truck. Girls. Uh, out here in you know, Missouri. Truck. He done put all my stuff out. He done put everything out, out of the truck. And leaving me out here in the cold. Leaving me out here in the cold. Uh, he put all my stuff out of the truck. He beat me up. Put all my stuff out of the truck. And um, he leaving me out here in the cold out here in Missouri. Um, out here in the cold. It's like 20 degrees out here right now. He put all my stuff, kicked me out the truck after putting his fucking hands on me. So I'm I'm going live so y'all can see what the fuck is going on right now. So y'all can see actually what's going on. He put my clothes out. I didn't even get all of my stuff out, but he put my clothes out out here in the cold, out here in Missouri, and about to leave me stranded out here. Now he's seeing that I'm recording him. And now he's just sitting here when he was just about to pull off after putting all my stuff out. This is why I want a divorce. This is why I don't want to be with him. This is why I do the shit that I motherfucking do for shit like this. So yeah, this is what he's doing right now. After he don't fucking punch on me like a fucking punching bag. I want everybody to know what the fuck going on. I'm not going to hide shit no motherfucking more because I'm so tired of this shit. I've been with this dumbass nigga for fucking five years and married to him for one and a half fucking years. And I'm tired of him putting his fucking hands on me. And then when I decide to fight back, you know what I'm saying? This is, what the, this is the shit that he motherfucking do. This is why I didn't want to team with him. Because I already knew what it was going to be. Because I already fucking knew. This is what he do to a female. This is what a bitch ass nigga do to a fucking female. Is put his motherfucking hands on me. Put me out in the fucking cold. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just waiting to go back to the terminal. And I get in my own truck and go solo. This is what a bitch ass punk ass nigga do to females. Now he's getting ready to pull off to leave me out here. <laughs> out here in the middle of nowhere. Out here in the middle of fucking nowhere. I get left kicked out of the truck and stranded. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. 
This is this is exactly what the fuck I'm gonna do. I just wanted to go live so y'all can fucking see. I'm not at no truck stop. I'm at a rest area. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not at no truck stop. I'm at a rest area out in the middle of nowhere in cold ass fucking Missouri out here in the middle of nowhere. And y'all think I want to be bothered with this shit? Y'all think I want to be bothered with this nigga putting his fucking hands on me every time he get fucking mad? And then when I decide to fight his ass back, he can't take that shit? It's fucking 20, to, 20 degrees out here. Exactly. Exactly. I'm not, this is not no truck stop. I'm at a rest area. And he don't even give a fuck telling me I better hitchhike with another truck driver. He don't give a fuck about my well-being. He don't give a fuck about if I get kidnapped. You know what I'm saying? One of these truck drivers out here don't give a fuck about none of that. So he just left me stranded out here in the middle of no motherfucking way. Now I have to find a way back to motherfucking Chicago. Yeah, this is it for me. You know what I'm saying? He you know he, he this is the last straw for me. Because you go this motherfucking fire. You don't give a fuck about me.